Hi uh, to everybody, nice to be here. Thank you, Luca Molinari, Simona Finesse. Thanks for the platform. This is a wonderful occasion to share some thoughts together. Um, I'm the co-founder and co-principal with Barbara Brondi of BRH Plus, our office based in Italy, in the up north part of Italy, in Turin. And um, we want to show you, I mean, the results of um, work that we did recently today. Let's start with the video, if possible. Cos'è questo suono che vibra nell'aria? L'idea di un continuo risveglio senza aver dormito mai. L'energia della vita che si diffonde, silenziosa ma ammaliante. Riconosco la cura, il dettaglio che posso toccare, l'odore che devo assaggiare. E i sensi si scambiano, si sovrappongono, si nascondono e ricompaiono poi più intensi, differenti. Somigliano a un ricordo. con il cielo e le nuvole riferiscono al tetto e gli alberi si muovono, danzano con le geometrie. Il sole intanto illumina l'interno, il legno accoglie, il ferro protegge. Sui vetri delle finestre chiuse la vigna non si accontenta del riflesso, oltrepassa la cantina. Con la cantina continua il suo spettacolo. Mi fermo e dico, abbiamo tutto. Abbiamo tutto, ma con la leggerezza di chi non ha bisogno di nient'altro. Certe storie sono così. Non sono io che le trovo. Sono loro che vengono a cercare me. E rimango, ritorno. Certe storie sono così. Parlano di me e io ancora non lo so. Riverberano nel passato. Nel presente crescono. Raccontano del futuro. So this was uh, our attempt to um, insert into this clip the sensitiveness that we try very hard to deal with, to work with every time you know, we do an approach, a, a project like this one. Um, since our practice in our office is uh, kind of uh, perceived as a platform, we are using architecture as a main tool you know, to tell a story behind. It's a vehicle, basically, you know, we define architecture in our practice to be a vehicle to convey content, you know, to tell the story behind, uh, to be meaningful as much that we can. In this case, in the clip, uh, we asked the writer, for example, you know, an actress, you know, to join us forces with us in order to tell the story behind and to try very hard to grasp a little bit of the, as I said before, of the sensitivities that uh, this project uh, is trying to deal with. So, um, this one is a winery. It's based in, uh, in Italy, in the up north of Italy. We are in the same region of our practice, the Piedmonte region. And uh, it's uh, the, the parcel of land that we are talking about here. It's a parcel of land that is called Altalanga. 
you, for sure you know very well Langa, no? Region, which is a very important region for wine and food culture and that's it. And uh, two very uh, adventurous people, let's say, from New York asked us, since they felt in love with the landscape here and with the region, they asked us to make this winery. No. So making a winery, it's a, a kind of a long process. You have to learn a, a lot of things, no, that regards the method uh, to produce wine. And basically, it's also a method of, let's say, dealing with nature, dealing with landscape. So we tried our best. We learned a lot during this project, as always, I must say. And uh, here, we tried also to impact as less as possible to this beautiful landscape, okay? So our um, main mission was to use less energy possible, let's say, and uh, so this is an attempt to deal with, uh, let's say, a very uh, kind of ambitious project in which we tried very hard to deal with the, the past, the present, and those the future, meaning the past, because uh, we tried to figure out this building as uh, this has always been there, you know, to perceive it as a part of the parcel of land, basically, like a camouflage building. Uh, the present, because uh, hopefully this is kind of contemporary language, and the future, because uh, we, we have this idea, we try our best to build something that is durable, but also we know that eventually, you know, in the next future, our architecture could do not exist anymore and could return it to nature. So in order to do not impact it much, for example, we organized the drawings and the project in order to, see for, to, to use for the structure iron beams or steel, basically, that eventually can be dismantled, reused, or eventually recast, possible. Then we act in this project with uh, insulation, which is very important for the, a winery, like this one, using hemp, cork, wooden fibers, every natural material as possible. And then for the exterior part, like you perceive here, we use terracotta and zinc. Less zinc, more terracotta. Terracotta, which is basically a very natural material. Of course, we are using energies now in order to make everything like you're seeing in this very moment. But also we loved to have this kind of rough feeling at the hand. We do not love that much to have sleek you no know, architecture in a final session of our work uh, as a part of our ambition to, let's say, blend our architecture into the landscape. So going on, these are the, the first front, we use a slope that already exists. We do not excavate anything, a part of the foundation things, obviously. Um, and uh, the terracotta um, uh, tiles, which are kind of long, you know, are um, literally enveloped the entire building from the roof to the facade. This is the outcomes for the terracotta we used to work with this company and try very hard to help them to um, put into the material some of the dirt of the land in order to obtain the same color, the same texture, the same feeling of the place, okay? You can perceive there um, a kind of a view, no, which is kind of very important for us, also for the theme and the topic we are discussing here, no? Uh, a, a project with a view, meaning that it puts you real in contact, no, with the landscape. These are other two pictures, here you can see how it deal with the entire, you no know, marvelous MSA landscape. Um, a view from the top, we try our best of also to harvest mu as much as possible energy from the sun, you no, know, and we are collecting all the rain water. The interior part, which is very technical, and very simple, as the architecture is, it's kind of easy to us, very linear, very simple. A part of the interior with the tasting house and the entrance and a view. As I said before, I mean, we perceive that this uh, project as uh, properly dealing with the topic of togetherness. No? Togetherness because we work a lot with our, our clients. So making literally the work together in some sense, to some extent, no? 
Uh, we worked a lot with all the builder, the, the people in, in, the, in the managing the project. Uh, we worked a lot also with the people that is uh, learning with us how to make it, and uh, we learned a lot from them how to make wine, for example. You know? And so this is very important for us because uh, uh, we really believe that now together is a really uh, a crucial word you know, in which we have to, we have to deal with, and uh, architecture per se, it's a manifesto of togetherness, always. You never do something for by yourself alone, never. And this is something that we have very clear in mind. And hopefully this was our presentation. Hope that you like it. Thank you for having us.